Hi everybody, and uh, God bless you, and good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is for you. Uh, I'm Warren Cook. I'm the pastor of Friendship Church. You probably know that, but uh, just in case you didn't, and you can find more of what we're doing here at uh, www.friendship.church. That's www.friendship.church. We're reading through the Bible, and today we're going to read Psalm 97 and Jeremiah 47 and the book of John and chapter 9. Our memory verse of the week is Psalm 92 verse 1 and it says, uh, It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. That's our memory verse, Psalm 92 verse 1. Let's go ahead and pray then we'll get into Psalm 97. Father, thank you for your word and we just ask you to open our ears and open our hearts Lord, to receive the life, the truth, the wisdom, the power of your word. In Jesus' holy name, we thank you, Lord, for it. Amen. Amen. All right, Psalm 97. And again, I've got five different translations open here, and I'll read a little bit from, from all of them, but mostly from the New Living and mostly from the NIV, New International. And I'll just make a couple of little brief comments on the way as well. And you can just read along with us in your Bible. But it says, The Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Let the farthest coastlands be glad. And it says, Dark clouds surround him. And one translation, the Amplified, says, Clouds and darkness are round about him as at Mount Sinai. So it says, Dark clouds surround him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Righteousness and justice. Whatever God is, he is always good and fair. Uh, it says, fire spreads ahead of him and burns up all of his enemies. His lightning lights up the world. The earth sees it and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord. One of my favorite verses in the Bible, in the King James, it says, the hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. Verse 6, the heavens proclaim his righteousness, and all people see his glory. Verse 7, all who worship images or worship idols are disgraced or put to shame. It says, all who brag about their worthless gods or those who boast in idols, worship him, all you gods. Another translation, for every god must bow to him. In other words, our God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, it says God is one. He's the only God. And it says all gods besides him are just idols made by people's minds or by people's hands, and they must all bow down before God, before God. Verse 8, it says Zion, or Jerusalem, has heard and rejoiced, and all the towns of Judah are glad because of your justice, O Lord. For you, O Lord, are supreme over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. Hallelujah. Uh, in the King James, it says, For thou, Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. And there's a beautiful song of the church that uses that line. It says, You who love the Lord hate evil. If you love the Lord, then you need to learn to hate evil. It says, He protects the lives of His godly people, and He rescues them from the power of the wicked. And by the way, even if you kill a Christian, that's all you can do. He's going to live forever in heaven. And so Jesus said, don't even be afraid of those that can kill your body. But afterwards, they can't toss your soul into hell. But be afraid of God the Father. Have reverence and trust in Him. Amen. Verse 11, light shines on the righteous and joy shines on the upright in heart, or those whose hearts are right. Verse 12, rejoice in the Lord, you who are righteous, and praise His holy name. Amen. Amen. Another translation again says, May all who are godly rejoice in the Lord and praise His holy name. And by the way, the only way that we are righteous is the Bible says that Jesus took our sin so we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. Righteousness meaning right standing with God. We are right before God. There's nothing between us and God. No walls, no barriers, no hindrances. If we believe in Jesus Christ and we are righteous, by our faith in Him. If so, rejoice. May all those who are godly or righteous rejoice 
and praise his holy name. Amen. Amen. So that is Psalm 97. And let's go ahead and get into Jeremiah chapter 47. <laughs> 